In this video, I am going to bring you up to date with something I vowed I would never, ever, ever do. My name's Inwills, and welcome to the In Crowd. Hello and welcome back. I know, I know, it's been some time since I've made a video like this and but and I do apologize for it, but I hear so many YouTubers saying that and then and saying woo, 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 what are them doing? And then I suddenly find that I'm doing it myself. Anyway, I'm back and things are looking good and I'm feeling pretty fine. So lockdown has certainly been interesting to say the least. And with a lot more sitting around doing nothing or working at my computer, I have felt that I have put on several poundage, several pounds, especially around my midriff. Now, lucky for me, um, you can only see the top half of me. As far as you know, I could be trouser or pant pantless below this webcam. Body image is always something that I've struggled with. And when I'm trying to get into 32 inch waist shorts and jeans, and you suddenly find that your stomach is bulging over the top of the waistband and that you can only fasten the top button if you can breathe in, well, things have got pretty extreme. And then, which means that things have to change. But it's not only the fact that my stomach was bulging over my waistband that I thought things have to change. Was there were two other things that happened, which I'm quite embarrassed to tell you about, that made me think that my lazy lifestyle needed to change and made me embark on something that I never thought I would do. Now, I really like numbers and I really like patterns within numbers and I took an Im image of my Apple Watch saying 1010 on the 10th. Uh, you, you can see it here, I think. Yeah, and I got really excited by this and so I merrily posted it to Twitter and suddenly realized from people's responses that my resting heart rate was very high. Yeah. You can probably see that now, can't you? So a lot of people sort of were sort of like, really sort of like, is that your resting heart rate? Are you all right? But coupled with this, and I'm going to tell you something which I have not shared with anyone apart from in this video. Okay, it's quite embarrassing. I actually, normally I'm a 32 inch waist and I actually put a pair of shorts on that were 34 inch waist. And shortly after fastening them, the top button flew off, kapling. It just fired across the room. And I had to use a safety pin for the rest of the day to keep my shorts up. So things weren't looking good. And with television telling me that healthy people can resist germs more, I decided that all those things brought together the flying button, the resting heart rate, and people telling me that fit people can resist germs and infections more, then things had to change. So if you've been following me on Twitter for a while, then you might have been familiar with one of my phrases. And one of my phrases that I, t I like to use is, why jog when you can blog? And I, I would laugh and smile and smirk and think I got won over all those healthy people. But the time had come that I really need to do something about my health and my bulging waistline. So I decided to reverse the saying to read, why not blog and jog? Okay, I am going to pause to allow you to finish your laughing and your giggling or to pick yourself up off the floor. Yes, you heard that correctly. I have <laughs> taken up running. Yep, 
the pale-skinned, geeky, unsport-like YouTuber and streamer has started to run. I downloaded an app called Couch to 5K um, by the NHS. God bless the NHS. Clap, 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 clap. And I must admit, it was absolutely fantastic. I dusted off my kit and trainers. Yeah, shorts and t-shirts. Mm, yeah, not a good sight. And I've started to run three times a week. Now, the app is absolutely fantastic. And Laura, my assistant on the run, tells me when to run and when to walk and changes that over the nine weeks. And eventually it builds you up and up and up so you can run for 30 minutes or they say 5K, hence the title of the app, um, in three times a week. Now, I'm currently on week six and I'm still going. Um, today's run was actually quite difficult. At the end of last week, I actually ran for 20 minutes non-stop. I know, you are shocked. Uh, no one was more shocked than myself. So yeah, things have sort of like took off. And if you would like to sort of like see my updates, and you can do this by following me on Instagram. Um, it's inwills1159. I post every day on my story about it. So coupled with this running, I've also decided to try to get my steps up to 10K and I'm watching what I eat. When I say I'm watching what I eat, I'm referring to the loaves of bread, which I can knock down and snack on. I try not to buy biscuits because if I do, I just consume the whole packet in a day. Maybe as well as body image issues, I have um, feeding issues as well. And just so you're happy with this i'm also trying to keep more hydrated um since i read somewhere that hunger you know if i'm not eating the bread then i'm going to get hungry is sometimes a sign of dehydration so i'm actually drinking a glass of water every time i make myself another coffee i know i know too much caffeine but i can't cut everything out in one fair swoop so do i feel better for it well Yes and no. I feel slightly healthier and I enjoy the sense of achievement when I complete every week and every run that I do. As for weight, well, I've been at it. This will be week six of the running and nothing's happened yet. I'm still waiting, but I'm assuming it will take time. I, I do know that somebody said to me, oh, if you're running, you have to take measurements rather than weight because you're putting on body um, muscle. Mm, yeah, I don't think there's an, enough. I, well, there's not a lot of muscle on me, just the bare essentials. And But they did say I should measure my waistline, which I am doing um, every time I try to slip back into a 32 inch waist. There is one negative which is happening because I am jogging now but I so don't seem to be blogging. So next target is to try to do both of them together. So wish me luck for the next three weeks. And if you would like to follow my progress, then do check out my Instagram story, inwills1159, since I regularly post there about my running um, activity. And finally, if this video has inspired you to get out and start running, then I would highly recommend the free app and, you know, go out and go for it. And I'll leave you with this piece of wisdom. If I can do it, then you can. Have fun everyone and I will catch you all later and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you have enjoyed this video. Well, I'll catch you next week hopefully and until then, happy jogging slash blogging. See ya, bye. I have to run for three minutes, three minutes. Avoiding the worms and puddles. Ah. Hi, running my last five minutes and week four, I think I'm on. 
decided to put a hat on just in case it rained to protect my glasses but there hasn't been a drop of rain just lots of wind okay oh, must be about three minutes still to go help so would you believe today in week five oh, run two i'm going to be running for eight minutes eight minutes then have a five minute break and then run for another eight minutes i thought I would take the video at the beginning because I have no idea what I'm going to look like at the end. See you on the other side. Bye. On my five minute cool down walk. Oh, my legs hurt today. I had to really push to get it through the last 10 minute run. They really did hurt. And I think I overcompensated with um, clothes today. I don't think I need my Mac on every time. Uh, yeah, cooling down then. See you soon.